It's huge. It, it is a resort. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're in the Arapaho National Forest, just outside of the Rocky Mountain National Park. <laughs> and we're doing fun stuff. We're doing fun stuff. We recently shared a video that was all about our three days of travel to get from Reno, Nevada to Granby, Colorado. This is part one of our time in Granby. It's going to be a two-parter because we did so much fun stuff. Granby, Colorado is about 86 miles northwest of Denver, and it's just outside the Rocky Mountain National Park. We got to River Run Resort, and let me tell you, this place is deserving of the term resort. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many amenities at this place and we are going to get into those a little bit later But we chose this place really because our friends Dan and Eva were staying there and we didn't have any plans after Reno And they happen to have availability. So that's why we chose this location and it did not disappoint Our friends Dan and Eva came in the next day We just went out that evening to Grand Lake Village Grand Lake Village is a really charming area And it's known I guess as the Western Gateway to the Rocky Mountain National Park you ready to go eat, Daisy? You ready to be in a restaurant? Are you ready, puppy? Stage coach, sta sage brush, sage coach. Sage. <laughs> well, where are we? What's, what's the name of this city? Grand Lake Village. Grand Lake Village. It's I pretty didn't cool. I didn't know it existed. Cool, like the cool little quaint towns that we like to visit. I know. And we're going to have dinner. We're going to go for a hike. We brought the dogs. Yes, so it's a big, uh, big party. Big production. Big part. Yeah, it is a big production. And we sat outside because it's dog friendly and Daisy and her best friend, Peanut, got to come with us. Peanut. <laughs> Grand Lake is also known as the snowmobiling capital of Colorado. Peanut, hide, hide. <laughs> <laughs> So our plans to go on that short hike with the dogs didn't work out because the trail was not dog friendly and we <laughs> should have looked that up ahead of time like we usually do. So we just found out that the hike we were going to take the dogs on, no dogs allowed. I guess we should always look that up first. We decided to just drive into Rocky Mountain National Park just a little bit. We could see there was lots of fire damage on the trees, but we did get to see lots of wildlife. Super close. Look at this guy right here. <laughs> what do you think, Daisy? <laughs> those big dogs? After taking some pictures of those awesome elk, we just decided to take some group photos and pictures of Daisy and Peanut and just went home for the night. This is the video. Oh. <laughs> we are going to head out and explore where? Winter, Winter Park. Park. Winter yeah. Park. We've been here. Today is seven days. Is and it? yeah, we got here a week ago on Saturday. Wow. And we've done very little. Luckily for us, because we've been busy, the weather was crappy for the most part last week. I'll tell you what, every time we're in Colorado, weather just changes like that. Weather's wild here. Yeah. Our first little bit of hail going on. It's been in the 60s 
and it's been in the upper 30s at night. night. Yeah. And when we wake up in the morning, even at like 8 a.m., it's like 38, 39 degrees. This next week coming up is going to be, it seems, nicer weather. Yeah. So and that's today perfect. Is, today is gorgeous. It's 71 and sunny. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, and we got our work done, and it's time to play. Maybe we'll do the alpine slide and stuff today, or maybe we're just going to scope it out. We're 100% going to get some lunch. 110%. Right away. Tara found this place on the way here. Yeah, I don't know if it's any good or not. Award-winning margarita. What do you say? You won awards in the whole state? I mean, how quickly I forget. It, it, it won awards, <laughs> I think, in the state or this area. I don't know. I think it's the state. State? We're going to go with state. I think it's the world. World famous margarita. Yeah. Bam. Those are some meaty tacos. I know. <laughs> Let's see what ours say. So I can't read it, so I think it says you know, super successful and win the lottery. I have bad eyes, I can't read it. You will be traveling and coming into a fortune. Does it really? <laughs> yeah. High five. <laughs> Let me see what mine says. Mine says, you will step on the soil of many countries. <laughs> Are you reading your fortune cookie? <laughs> it's not going to come true if I don't eat my cookie, right? That's true, i got to eat the cookie. So we just finished lunch. It was good. It was really, really good. Yes. Jonathan was our server and he was great. Food was really good. Chris is the chef. We met him and he does a great job. You won't drive by and think I gotta go there. That's true. Because but it doesn't really look like a whole lot. You gotta go there. Do it. We started to drive into Winter Park and scope things out, but then it started raining, so we decided to just save the Alpine slide and walking around Winter Park for another day. So more to come on that in part two. There are a couple of restaurant options right on site at the RV resort, which we took advantage a few times. Yeah. The food was okay, but it was high on the convenience scale. And a couple of times we went, they had live music and that was on the weekends and dogs are allowed to be with you as long as you are sitting outside. So one night while Dan was away for work, Chad, me, <laughs> Eva, Peanut and Daisy went and grabbed dinner. Out of our back patio. Does not suck. What are you doing? Did you have a good night out? Did you enjoy dinner? Did you have a play date with your friend Peanut? That's not Tara. It's <laughs> This is Dan, <laughs> and this is Eva. You guys have seen them several times now. But we are heading out to do some more four-wheeling. Yeah, this time we're all gonna be in a four-seater. Looking forward to this. It's a little bit windy today. Yeah. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did we mention the Colorado weather is unpredictable? So we are layered up and we brought extra layers. Of course, I got the bear spray. I don't think it'll work on a moose. <laughs> we got dry bags for the cameras in case it rains. We are so prepared for it to rain that hopefully we'll Yeah, we have raincoats, all the good stuff. On the Trail Rentals is located about three miles northwest of Grand Lake and it's located inside of Winding River Resort and RV Park, which looks like a really nice RV park. Definitely more rustic than the RV resort that yeah, we're staying sure. in, but it actually looked really nice. And you know, you and I like a mix of like, sometimes we like more rustic and I actually really like the vibe of this place. And it would be something that, although there's not a ton of amenities, it just seemed like a place that we would still enjoy. We will show you a little bit more about this RV park after we get done on the trails. The ATV rentals are actually all the way in the back of the property, almost behind the RV park. 
you guys have a reservation with yeah. me? Yeah. Yeah. Why do they have the extra large way up there? All right, guys, so we're here at the Star. Okay. Um, you guys are going out to the west today. So you guys are riding for four hours. What I would suggest for four hours is when you guys go up the hill here in a half mile, you'll come to this first Y intersection. I suggest you go left, that is South Supply. Okay. And if you guys have any questions while you're up there, um, that's the best number to call us, their direct line to the shop. We have an emergency snack run before we go four-wheeling. Oh yeah, we forget to pack snacks, which is not usually our MO. So luckily that was there and we loaded up on snacks for mostly, our trip. Mostly health food. As in M&Ms and cookies. <laughs> We're going. Oh uh, wait. Are we not gonna get a selfie? Hey, wait, where's Eva? But you're going to go out our back gate, which is red. You're going to go left and up the hill. So between us and this first intersection, that would be the hill. On the trail, Reynolds rents ATVs, but they also rent snowmobiles in the winter for unguided tours. So you guys are riding in the Arapaho National Forest. It is public land. You will see other people up there today, hikers, bikers, campers. So just be careful, expect traffic. Okay. Unfortunately, this area was affected by the East Troublesome Fire in 2020. Five major wildfires burned over 300,000 acres. That's pretty troublesome. Yeah, you can really see all the damage that mm -hmm. was done from that. Let's go. After two miles, South Supply will bring you up to Kawanichi. It's a forest service road, 15 feet wide, smooth gravel. Can't really miss it. You are gonna turn left and continue south for about six miles, okay, until you reach the bottom of the trail system. Lightning like Steve McQueen, I'm in the fast lane when the light turns green. And I built tough, I ain't nothing but grit. Yeah, like a horse I fly, then it makes yourself in for a bumpy ride. I was born to run, I was built to last. I was made for speed, cause I was born fast. This is public land, so there is dry camping available. Yeah, and if you missed our live stream recently where we talked about how to find public lands, be sure to check that out. We'll have a link below. Ready to roll? Roll. Wow, you can see the lakes from up there. So Granby, Grand Lake, and then there was- Shadow Mountain. Oh, Shadow Mountain, good one. That was beautiful up there. Right, right. Now down here you'll come to an intersection and there's a parking lot on your right hand side with a restroom. Oh. It's called Idle Glen. Please make sure you take that hard right hand turn and go into the parking lot. Do not go left, that's Kenny Road 4. So if you end up on pavement, make sure you turn around and go <laughs> in that direction. Okay. For the first half of our trip, there were a lot of small RVs and vehicles leaving, but most of the time we were on our own out there. And there were a few RVs camping up in that area as well, because remember, this is public land and dry camping is available. No 44 foot toy haulers though. No way. <laughs> Then we finally came to a more technical path, and that was the best part. You know, we're spoiled. We like the rough stuff. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so we've done so far. Yeah. And it's been mostly just like bad dirt roads. Now it's a little rough. And what'd you say? We're at 10,000 what? 124 feet. <laughs> 10,124. That's pretty high. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where it ends? Oh, okay. This is a little rougher. <laughs> 
But of course, with that technical stuff comes puddles and mud. What mud? You know, the mud that you didn't avoid. <laughs> I didn't see any mud, I swear. <laughs> Why are you singing, bud? <laughs> it's all over me! Look at my face! Where did I even come from? Okay. I don't know. I got a little mud. I don't think we'll see any RVs back here. <laughs> I'm gonna up and go all the way to Colorado. See what's waiting there. Come on, woo! Cause there's a fire in my heart. I feel the heat of fire and stars. I keep running down a railroad. Couldn't tell you when it starts. Gotta find a missing part of piece of heaven I can call my own. That technical stuff is definitely the most fun, but be prepared to be beat up a little bit. I think that's just common, right? With four wheelers. Oh, yeah. We saw some wildlife. <laughs> because getting out of here in reverse is going to be interesting. <laughs> Every time we've gone on one, we are a little bit sore the next day. We laugh our butts off. But it's time. like a love-hate thing and mostly love it with a little bit of pain. But we had a blast and we had a great time being able to do that with our friends. Yeah. But we feel pretty good about it. I was just wondering how Chad figured out how to just go through the mud and only splash the women. Right, it's very and, uh, strategic. That was really, it was amazing. It was very strategic. I mean, <laughs> yeah, but that's skill. Right. That is real skill. Talent, babe. Sure. So once we finished up and dropped the four-wheeler back off, we all hopped in the truck and just drove through the RV park a little bit so we could check it out. It's just basically a grassy field, but they do have hookups. They also have a section over there with an area for horse trailers, and they even have some, I think they're stalls, I'm not sure what they're called. Yeah, they're for the areas. horses. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting and something that I've never really seen before. Yeah, if you're going to do a lot of the four-wheeling, this would be a great place to stay because you're right there. Absolutely. The 
Just what do you want to say? I want to say that we are technically inside Rocky Mountain National Park. We just got done with the four-wheeling adventure and there's this short little hike that Dan and Eva wanted to check out. Adams Falls, it goes to a waterfall and it's only like a mile loop or something. So 0 0.3 miles, I think we're halfway there no, already. It's 0 0.3 miles to get there and then 0.8 miles loop. Mountain lions frequent this area. Thanks, Dan. We're putting that out. We got to make it exciting somehow. I'm a little winded, but I got to say it's probably because it's like really high up, right? <laughs> danger. <laughs> These guys love danger. No wonder he wanted to do this hike. What's the most dangerous, shortest hike in the area? Don't do it. Okay, he's got to get his fix in. Are y'all ready to see an overview of River Run RV Resort? It's huge. And it is a resort. <laughs> oh my gosh. There are so many amenities here and so many different ways that you can stay here, even if you don't have your own RV. So because it's so big, we're gonna jump on our e-bikes and we're gonna give you a little tour of this place. One of the ways you can stay here if you don't have an RV, and I think it's really fun. It's definitely unique. Are these. Covered wagons. What? <laughs> I really wanted to go inside one. I wanted to spend the night in one while we were here, but hasn't worked out yet. But they look really cute. They have some that have sleeping for, I think, four, and then they have some that are just king size beds. They seem a little bit sparse. It's got a bed, and I think that's it. There's a playground right here, and we did notice that over the weekends, these get filled up with families, and you might want to rent them as a group. That'd be kind of fun. Even though you're in a covered wagon, you still have access to all the amenities. So it's pretty fun. I like it. Very cool. And because these covered wagons don't come with restrooms and water and all that stuff, the really nice bathhouses are right there. Very nice and clean. Mm -hmm. This is a bad Playground. Idea. This is a really bad idea. I should not have, whoa. <laughs> I should not have done that. Yeah. All right, we are moving on to the next area where you can stay at this resort without your own RV. Ready? Let's go. If you want to upgrade a little bit, just a notch, <laughs> maybe a couple centuries of a notch yeah. up from the covered wagon, boom, Airstreams. These are permanently here. This is their quote glamping section and you can rent an Airstream. So it's kind of cool if you want to know what it's like to stay in an RV, you've never stayed in one before, mm -hmm. you can come here, still enjoy all the amenities, but you can stay in an RV. An Airstream at that. Yeah, cool. We got there on a weekend and it was packed and it seemed like almost every site was taken. But during the week, it completely emptied out. This resort also has cabins and larger villas that you can rent. So if you have a bigger group, they have bigger options. And if you have a smaller group, they have cabins here and in several different areas throughout this complex. Everything here is new, so I'm sure it's gonna be really nice. Mm -hmm. Let's go check out some of the amenities. There's a ton. Be sure to check online at sunoutdoors.com for more information and for specials. Yeah, we have no affiliation or anything with this campground. We just think it's a really cool place. If there weren't kids on that thing right now, I would go jump on it. It actually looks like fun. Watch out! Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I really am getting dizzy. Well, it's in the swing so high. Because I like it. It's fun. And this is the community center, but it's got all kinds of cool stuff inside. There's miniature bowling, there's an arcade, arcade, a bar, a bar, or a restaurant.
dog run area, sand volleyball, pickleball, basketball, cornhole. You can even mine for treasure. <laughs> yeah, there's a little mining thing over here. Yeah. Right next the to the kiddos. general store. Yes, and here they have firewood, and you can get propane and ice, and then of course snacks, snacks, and, and whatever else you might need for RV your stay. Parts and stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. This place is very impressive. Boo. Sorry guys, you're not allowed. Chad can even practice his putting. I don't need to practice. I'm already pretty good. Mm. <laughs> and they even have Where this way, it? it's over here. It's over there. <laughs> Bocce ball. Yeah. Those look like the same size as the bowling balls. They're not quite. Are they bigger? No, they're smaller. Uh -huh. There's also a pretty awesome little path that starts here and goes all the way around this little pond. You can take your bike so you can walk on it. So I'm gonna up and go all the way to Colorado. In terms of the types of RV sites, there are a ton of different styles. Standard back end, deluxe back end, lakefront, premium lakefront, just all types. We stayed in a premium pull through site which had a giant cement pad and was really, really large. They also have separate tent camping section. What I think is really neat about these kind of places is they're great for meeting up, big family gatherings for people who do and don't have RVs. Mm -hmm. People that don't have RVs can get a Airstream or a covered wagon. In part two, we're gonna get out Lucille and take her for a ride into Rocky Mountain National Park. Oh, and that was spectacular. That was so cool. And we also go back to Winter Park and we finally do the Alpine Slide. See you next time. So oh.